thought I had a solid way of explaining AI agents until I read this breakdown from Ronald Oshry. It was so simple, so clear that I was like, why haven't we all been saying it this way? So here's how he explained it. But first, bookmark this for later. We all know AI agents are supposed to be goal-driven, but instead of obsessing over how they work because humans like to overcomplicate things, Ashri flips the script. He focuses on what they do, and it makes this concept so much clearer. So he uses a teacup as an example. Yeah, it sounds ridiculous, but hear me out. A teacup serves a goal. It holds your tea, keeps it warm, and stops spills. That means it's an agent, but a passive one. Right now, AI agents exist on a spectrum. So we're mostly stuck in two zones. We've got the passive agents, the teacups of AI. No decision making, just a tool. Active agents, these can execute tasks when triggered, like a chatbot fetching your weather. Now here comes the third spectrum, autonomous agents. These don't just execute tasks, they decide which goals to pursue. So the real question isn't if AI agents exist, we know that they do. The question is, how far are we from autonomy? Right now, most AI agents are self-directed and they can choose how to do something, but not what to do. The leap from autonomy means AI deciding what's actually worth doing, and we're just scratching that surface. However, some AI agents are reportedly able to self-replicate, creating functional copies of themselves to continue their tasks without human input. It's true, it's a massive leap towards autonomous AI agents. So. Do you think we're anywhere close to real AI autonomy? If this breakdown clicked for you, make sure to follow and I'll see you later. Ciao.